Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to hop on here and let you guys know that I am going to be posting a series of videos on my channel that are a little bit different than you're used to seeing. Basically when I was pregnant with Grayson, I recorded a lot of things on my phone, a lot of updates, um, going to the doctor for the first time, my symptoms during the first, second, and third trimester. Um, really interesting stuff, but it was recorded on my phone. So the format is gonna be kind of funky, but I'm still gonna put the videos out there and hopefully they are interesting or helpful for some of you. I certainly find them fun to watch. So um, this first video is going to be me um, going to the doctor for the first time and talking about my pregnancy symptoms during that first trimester. Um, let me know if you like this kind of stuff. I'm gonna try and edit as many of them as I can today. So let's get into it. All right, so I wasn't sure I was gonna do this, but we are going to talk about my symptoms so far for this pregnancy. I am eight weeks and two days according to the first day of my last period. Um, and today is the day of our first doctor's appointment. Um, God, I had no idea um, that they make you wait that long to go to the doctor for the first time. Um, but I guess they're not really able to get a heartbeat. Um, or have any definitive test other than a blood test before that point. So, um, had some symptoms. Um, we took a pregnancy test probably about a month ago when I was around, I would say four weeks. Um, and obviously it said pregnant. Uh, we wanted the one that said pregnant or not pregnant because I just couldn't handle the little lines and you having to decide if there's a line or if there's not a line so we got the one that said pregnant or not pregnant and it said pregnant and that was kind of shocking um and then I called the doctor and they were gonna call me back and then they didn't call me back so a couple days later I'm like freaking out that they hadn't called me back yet um so I called them let them know when the first day of my last period was, and we set up an appointment for today, April 4th, 2019. Um, and I would say almost immediately after finding out we were pregnant, um, I started to have some symptoms. Um, I mean, the first, first and foremost, I think before you go to the doctor, um, it's just pretty stressful because you're not sure, like you, you've, we took two pregnancy tests, we took them a few days apart because we wanted to make sure, even though um, in this day and age pregnancy tests are very accurate, um, you still kind of freak out that um, maybe you're not pregnant or that something's wrong, um, there's a lot of different things that can happen and then um, weeks four through seven, I was super concerned about miscarriage, I think as many women would be, and ectopic pregnancy, I was really concerned about that. Um, but I'm now at week eight, so I'm once I hit week seven, I think I, I started to worry a little bit less about that, and now that I'm week eight, um, I'm not super concerned about that, but we're going to the doctor today, so I will have peace of mind. We'll get to hear the heartbeat for the first time. Um, but weeks four through seven, um, some t symptoms that I had, um, my boobs were really sore. My nipples in particular were consistently um, <laughs> pretty sore and tender and on point all the time, 24-7. I mean, it was crazy. Um, my breasts were a little bit swollen. I wouldn't say they were like super swollen, but they were a little swollen. Um, the nausea, um, I would say afternoon and night. I don't have morning sickness. I have nausea at night. Um, I gotta go. Josh is here, so I'll talk later. First doctor's appointment. Success. We were pregnant. <laughs> Officially. We are pregnant. <laughs> Eight weeks and two days, like we thought. Um, heartbeat was normal. 
Um, we didn't get to hear it, but we could see it on the screen. Um, just one, baby. <laughs> no twins? <laughs> we were concerned. Yeah. Also, just one. due date is around November 12th. November 12th, due date. Which is two days after what will be our, our six, six year, year anniversary. anniversary. Excited. <laughs> and nervous. <laughs> now we're getting food because we're both starving. <laughs> so I was talking about earlier um, the symptoms that I've had so far. Um, we just got done with our first doctor's appointment. Um, and I'm waiting in the car. Josh is getting us some Chick-fil-A. It doesn't sound super appetizing because I've been having some serious food aversions. Um, but I'm re really trying to eat some of it. Um, not that it's super healthy or anything, but like I really need some protein. Um, anyway, symptoms. So I talked about, um, my breasts, um, the nausea has been, like I said, primarily nighttime nausea, um, generally starting from like 5 p.m. Uh, until night, till I go to bed. Um, I haven't, I wouldn't say it's been like super, 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 super bad. Uh, I haven't thrown up a lot or anything like that. Um, I just think nausea in general kind of sucks. Um, but as of now, I'm struggling to drink enough water. Um, I'm getting about as much water as I would on a normal day, normal day um, before I found out I was pregnant, um, but I haven't been working out as much. So when I work out, I drink a lot more water. I'll probably drink at least um, a shaker bottle and a half at the gym because I'm burning off that energy and, and I'm really thirsty. So. A little bit less than usual so I'm trying to work on that um, my body I haven't noticed like a ton of changes um, I will say that my stomach my waist definitely felt like it expanded a little bit um, the first like week f like week four and week five and maybe a little bit week six and then week seven and so far week eight I felt pretty normal um, I have noticed that I get a little bit swollen later on during the day, so the nights that I have to close at work, um, my pants might be pretty like loose around the waist when I go in to work, and then by the time it's 10 o'clock, my pants are like cutting off my circulation, so uh, I don't know about that. Um, one of the funniest symptoms, and I didn't know this was a thing until it started happening to me and then I started doing research, is just being out of breath all the time. And that started right pretty much when I found out I was pregnant. So I've been short of breath, honestly, just from like doing, like even just having a conversation or like doing something physical for like 30 seconds, I don't know. Um, pretty out of breath already which is apparently pretty normal so I don't know what to say there's a baby in there I was nervous that I mean we took two home pregnancy tests on different days um, but until you go to the doctor you don't really know for sure 